When it comes to legendary dive watches, the Seiko 62 Moss is up there with some of the best. The circular brushing on the bezel insert, the skin diver case, and the dia shield coating all adds to its appeal. As amazing as the 62 Moss is, it does have its flaws. There's a French watch brand that has been releasing impressive watches with in-house movements that just launched a vintage-inspired dive watch that reminds me a lot of the 62 Moss. They not only did it better, but also added a very unexpected feature. For the past handful of years, the French brand has been building out their catalogs, adding new watches, incorporating their in-house movements. The mid-century inspired skin diver mixes vintage style with the modern Yemamade movement that also includes a high-end feature that we rarely see. The Slim CMM20 is based on Yema skin divers from the 1960s and the design is spot on for that era with a retro mix of shark teeth loom filled indices and Arabic numerals in a tiki style font. The handset uses a prominent arrow for the minute hands and a lollipop seconds hand to add more retro flair alongside a standard pencil hour hand. The case is equally as impressive with a 39mm brushed stainless steel case that is very thin and features long sharp lugs, a polished chamfer running along the edge, and an oversized unprotected screw down crown. On top of the case is a domed sapphire crystal that sits 2mm higher giving that look of a vintage style acrylic crystal. Also sapphire is the bezel insert which is faded grey to mimic the vintage style ghost bezels we often see from natural fading. Another nice vintage detail is the old school serpentine scales bracelet that's not common on modern divers but fits the style of the watch perfectly. The watch looks incredible and continuing that theme and the unexpected feature is what's inside. The Skin Diver Slim is powered by Yema's CMM20 automatic in-house caliber movement boasting 70 hours of power reserve and nearly cost level precision with minus 3 to plus 7 seconds per day. But that's not what's most impressive about the movement. It's powered by a micro rotor which is inside the movement as opposed to on top of it. This allows the movement and therefore the watch to be incredibly thin. This kind of movement is not usually found on a lot of watches, especially ones at an accessible price tag. The CMM20 caliber is only 3.7 millimeters thick and the watch has a total thickness of just 10 millimeters. The movement is visible through a sapphire case back and is decorated with the black atomic layer deposition treatment that, as Yema puts it, results in a hyper contemporary look that contrasts with the rest of the watch. The Skin Diver Slim is priced at $2,249, which is quite impressive given the specs and build quality of the watch. If you're not super familiar with Yama or even just getting introduced to them through this video, they have a really incredible history. They were founded in 1948 by Henry Louis Belmont with his first collections being released at the start of the 1950s and one of the first brands to manufacture dive watches that could withstand the depths of up to 100 meters. In the early 60s, Yama became the leading French watch exporter selling 400,000 watches yearly to more than 55 countries and also became the official supplier of the French national sailing team. It was in 1967 that really changed everything for Yema when they released the Superman. What made this watch so special was an in-house design bezel lock mechanism that was one of the very first to appear on a dive watch. The Superman model became the first production dive watch in France with waterproof depths of 300 meters, making that model the ultimate French dive watch in history. Since that time, Yema has accomplished other milestones, like the greatest race driver Mario Andretti wearing his Yema rally watch during his 1969 Indianapolis 500 win and becoming the first military-issued provider.